Hi, this is Leah Leninger, the Health Sciences Librarian at UNC Greensboro, and I'd like to give you a little overview of some of the services and resources that are available to you. These are some of the topics that I'd like to cover in the next few minutes. The first thing to know is please start at the UNCG Library homepage, library.uncg.edu. While you can find many resources freely available online, there is also a wealth of high quality, authoritative articles, books, videos that are available online to you if you come in through library.uncg.edu. When you click into a subscription, the information that you're going to be asked to enter is your iSpartan username and password. That's just the same information that you use when you log into Canvas and email. There are going to be lots of resources and services that are available right on the library homepage. For instance, getting help from a librarian. That's under the chat with a librarian link at the top corner. Also, research guides by subject will lead to recommended resources for public health education really specialty resources that can kind of help guide you um, if you're doing some work in a specific course. <laughs> of course, we also have a catalog. That's the red search box. It will give you access to many of the resources available from our library, but not all of them. So I would definitely encourage you to get into that research guide, for, especially for public health education. And there are services as well. For instance, interlibrary loan. If UNCG doesn't have an article that you need. You can use the interlibrary loan request, which is linked under services, to request that, a, that an ILL staff member find a copy from some other institution and get the PDF for you. They'll do their best, and usually there's a turnaround time of three to five business days and no extra charge for the service. Also, for online and distance education students who live outside Guilford County, you can use the interlibrary loan request form to ask that a print book that's just um, sitting on a shelf available to be checked out, uh, you can have that kind of item checked out to you and shipped through the mail to you. I already mentioned your iSpartan account. Sometimes you will see a page that says UNCG authentication at the top. That's when you're logging into online book databases. You put your uh, iSpartan username and password in definitely in that instance. If you come into the interlibrary loan form, you're going to see a page that says interlibrary loan at the top. You put your very same uh, username and password, that iSpartan username and password, into that page in order to get to the request service for articles we don't own or that uh, free delivery of print books. What if you need help with these accounts? If you need help with your username or password for iSpartan, especially if you're having a hard time logging into several services at UNCG, maybe you can't get into Canvas or maybe you can't get into email, in that case, campus-wide ITS is the place to go. There's a six tech phone number and request form, and I've put the phone number up here for you. Now, if you're having a hard time getting into an article in the library website or into an ebook, please come into that. Chat with a librarian or ask us library information service. And I've linked the phone number here. I am going to go to a live demonstration of the library homepage. All right, so library.uncg.edu. Let's look at the chat with a librarian page. This is what it looks like in summer 2016. End of summer 2016. You get a chat box right here. You can type in, the, type in the bottom, and if it says available, a librarian's logged in and waiting to answer your questions. There's also a phone number. Services are a pretty big deal. So I want to point out under services, there's a link to interlibrary loan. There's also a link to library tutorials, videos that will show you how to find articles and find books and ebooks. Also, an overall how to do library research tutorial called PATH the research guide for public health education. So we click on this research guides link. We'll see that there are recommendations for every academic area at UNCG. Under public health education, you'll see a lot of resources here. My picture over on this side, there's a chat box that 
someone else is actually monitoring right now. If I'm monitoring this chat box, it should say Leah. You do get direct contact information for me. So if you'd like to send me an email, you can reach out directly to me for help. I'm typically scheduled during the weekdays between 9 and 5. My schedule does shift around sometimes when I have an evening shift or when I'm on duty on the weekend or when I'm traveling. So the Ask Us chat box is the quickest way to get help, but definitely feel free to send me an email and please expect about 24-hour turnaround uh, response to emails during the week. Public health education resources. We have got so many online article databases, ebook databases, video databases, even a guide to citing your sources. Along this column, you'll see guides for specific classes. There's a little quick search here for articles. This is a couple of different article databases all lumped together. If you type a search in this box, you'll usually find um, a nice variety of articles, some scholarly, but some popular for the general public. Um, and it is a pretty good place for health topics. It sometimes wanders out a little bit into other areas as well. As I said, there are definitely tutorials on this. I'm going to click out to University Libraries. If you come to Services and Tutorials, there are different videos that tell you a little more specifically how to do um, some of these tasks, how to find articles, how to find books. So back to the PowerPoint we go. So if you are close enough to come to UNCG, specifically the Spartan Card Center in the Elliott University Center during the, um, during the weekday, then there are some other things that you can do. For instance, you could walk up to the shelf in Jackson Library or even in Schiffman Music Library and check out a print book. And as, I, as I've already mentioned, undergraduate students do get um, stacks print books for a month. You can renew them four times if no one else places a hold to prevent renewing. So again, whether you have a book shipped to you or whether you come here in person, you can get some print books. We don't have a textbook collection, unfortunately, but there might be other print books that are helpful to you. Something else that you can do with a UNCG ID card that could be helpful. You could visit another academic library in the UNC system to check out their print books. For instance, if you live near Chapel Hill or you live near Wilmington um, or any other school in the UNC system, you can take your UNCG ID card, you can go to a checkout desk at one of their libraries and register for borrowing privileges to check out their print books. And I will say that most, um, most libraries in higher education, college libraries and university libraries, um, do extend kind of guest privileges to students and members of the public, even if they're not part of that institution. So especially if it's a, a public system like the UNC system. So if, another thing to consider is if you aren't near UNC Greensboro, but you would like a library just to study in, you would like some place to go, um, you're not limited to just finding the nearest Starbucks or McDonald's or um, even public library space. You can look around for a big research library near you and check with them to see if they allow guests. Often they will allow people to come in and use their space and sometimes also even use their online resources if the guest is able to visit in person. If you do check out a print book uh, from our collection, whether it's shipped to you or whether you're able to visit in person, um, you can go to tinyurl slash uncgrenew to get more information about uh, setting up a password that you will use to renew online and also a link to renew your books online. Overall, the main thing I'd like you to remember is coming through the library website at some point. When you're asked to log in, use your iSpartan username and password. That's going to get you into our online subscriptions. And keep in mind the research guide for public health education. And definitely ask for help when you need it.